For decades, wastewater has been treated and used for landscaping and irrigation, but not for us to drink, at least not yet. That may change in the city of Phoenix within this decade to keep the state from running dry. Meteorologist Jorge Torres shows us how. In just a few years, the water that's flushed down drains and toilets in the city of Phoenix may eventually flow through taps for people to drink. And we think it's responsible. We think it's the way to go. It's a sustainable resource. It keeps coming to us. And it'll all start at the Cave Creek Water Reclamation Plant near Cave Creek and Deer Valley Roads. It was shut down in 2009 due to the recession. But earlier this month, Phoenix City Council approved $30 million to fix up the plant, treat 8 million gallons of wastewater per day, and more. We're also including technology and treatment processes to be able to eventually get a permit for advanced purified water. Advanced purified water involves several processes along with adding barriers, removing everything necessary before it reaches consumers. It's been done before, naturally. And the earth has been cleaning it for millions of years. Essentially what's happening now is that there's technology to be able to do that much quicker and more effective. The total cost for the project will be around $300 million. Construction at the Cape Creek Water Treatment Plant will start later this year or early 2024. And the hope is to launch the Advanced Purified Water System in 2028. When you live in the desert and you have looming drought declarations on the Colorado, we think it's one of it's one of the other pieces to add to our diverse water resources portfolio. For Running Dry in Phoenix, I'm meteorologist Jorge Torres with ABC 15 Arizona.